if we don't act now, we're going to lose all our rights. And I'm not trying to scare anyone. You don't have to believe what I'm telling you. You can look it up for yourself. You can ask questions. I mean, that's what being a free democratic society is all about, is asking questions. And, um, you know, they don't have the answers for them because it's all there in black and white. You read the bill and it tells you exactly what's going on. So, and if enough people start questioning, then they're going to have to rescind the bill. I mean, I don't want my family growing up in an oppressive society where they can't walk outside and breathe fresh air without someone pointing a gun at them. And they might say that that could never happen, but why would they put that language in there, giving them, giving them the authority to do it if they didn't have any intent on using it? So don't, don't believe what they tell you because our forefathers left England because of the very things that are going on in our government today. I served my country. I got an honorable discharge from the army, and I, I swore an oath to the pe protect the country from all enemies, foreign, domestic. Now, these people that are operating in our government right now are criminals, and you don't have to agree with me. You can disagree with me, but time will tell, and if we don't do something, like I said, if we don't all stand up and, and participate in a free democratic society, you're going to lose your rights and you're going to lose them quick. They're devaluing the dollar. The Federal Reserve is printing money, which they don't have the authority to do, regardless of what Congress says they do. It's in the Constitution. They do not have the authority to print paper money. That's in our Constitution. So whatever you hear on TV isn't what the reality is and the people need to stand up and 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 unite and stop this because you are losing your rights as we speak they got HR 2749 which is the Food Safety Act and this affects the entire country which gives them the authority to shut down a geographical area meaning a state a whole state if they 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 want to under the guise of contaminated food they can stop all forms of transportation in and out of the state. They can destroy vehicles. They, they can declare martial law. And they can shut restaurants down. They can shut down supermarkets. And I'm not, I'm not going for it. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are upset. And they don't know what to do. But I'm telling you right now, all we have to do is unite. And uh, uh, we'll be a force to be reckoned with. Because... Generally speaking, the people are on the side of the winners, meaning if there's more of us than there are of them, then people are going to be on our side. They're not going to be on their side because that's how people are. It's the nature of them, and the government knows that. They've done studies. they figured those things out, and that's why they put all these, these hot-button issues out there to distract people so they argue amongst themselves, like race and abortion and and terrorism and health care and, and God only knows what else. They got you all distracted, arguing amongst each other while they're all fucking robbing us. Excuse my language, but I'm pissed. So, um, getting back to the issues, I won't, I'm not going to get into everything, but we have a lot of problems in this country and, and it's been since, uh, the beginning of the time, the, the majority of problems arise from greed. So that's the starting point. Abraham Lincoln said, uh, the money powers prey on the nation in times of peace and conspire against it in times of adversity. And we're in times of adversity right now. And that's what the Federal Reserve is doing. And I'm not, that's, they're not the only bad guy out there, but they have they have uh, exceeded their their authority by printing money. It's in our constitution. They they don't have the right to print print paper money. Our, our founding fathers knew the hazards of that, and they specifically put it in the constitution to make it criminal to do so, because it happened before in this country, and they stopped teaching stuff in school. And people don't know. I, I talk to people today. They didn't even know what martial law was. They're like, what's that? And when I told them, they couldn't believe it. So, I mean, you figure it out.
I mean, people have to wake up, and it's unfortunate, but we're at a point right now that if people don't wake up, they're going to lose everything that they fought for and, and struggled for all these years, and not to mention all the things that our forefathers fought for and died for for this country. So I, I don't want that coming down on my back, and I'm sure that you don't want it coming down on yours. When everyone realizes that they've been duped, they're going to be pissed. And that's why they put all these laws in place so that when people do realize, it'll be too late for them. And they won't have anything to say about it because they'll be locked up or shot. Because if you open your mouth against the regime, that's what happens to you. Just ask Saddam Hussein's people. And I'm not saying that we're living in one at this particular moment, but we're heading fast towards it. So... And I'm not the history teacher. That needs to fall on your shoulders. You need to do your own reading. You need to get involved and, and start contacting your representatives and putting pressure on them because one person can't do it. It takes a, a village to raise a child. You've heard that expression. It's true. It takes a village to, to like elect a leader. And then it takes a village to watch that leader and make sure he doesn't go power hungry. And that's where we fell off. We were out watching football or basketball or baseball or going on the beach or, or talking on the internet or uh, texting each other, whatever the case may be, arguing about health care or abortion while they're robbing us blind.